guy here is an armature that I've taken and put on a milling machine. I did was I took and milled it out at a half inch, uh, one inch long. Might be able to see the magnets. Yeah, see the magnets down inside. And then I took and put a little super glue around the edge, and I pressed it in as far as I could get it to go. And I took a piece of brass and uh, beat it in with a hammer the rest of the way, hitting the brass, the brass hitting the magnet, so the magnet didn't break. You can see this one's kind of roughed up. Actually, was hitting the edges on the inside, and so I took a uh, file and filed it down to where it won't couldn't hit anymore. <clears throat> and I put four of those in. File down. That one actually broke right there. You can see an edge. There, put put it in four locations. I put eight magnets total. The problem was, after I got it in, my coils and my magnets do not line up. What I should have done was put four more locations for a total of uh, 16 magnets. But <clears throat> the only way I could do that now is to break those magnets or try to mill them back out. And since I don't have access to a milling machine anymore, I guess I'll have to rewire my motor. In order to do this the way I want to, I'm going to have to take pretty much all these coils out. Unless I can figure out how to rewire them the way they are to work, which I don't think I'll be able to. Since this was a uh, multi-speed motor, it has multiple sets of coils in it. And then, of course, a starting capacitor on the side. Which means it has start windings. Or it is set up for, as a two phase motor because of that coil. It must be set up for two phase because I don't see the centrifugal switch to kick it out with. Anyway, I'm going to pull all these out. Uh, the closest one I see, or smallest one I see, is one, two, three. And it takes up four spots, which I'm going to try to shrink them down to either two or three. Most likely I'll do them as three. And I've been trying to take some of these out. Some of these will come out easy. These particular ones are made of plastic. And they're freaking. Uh, they won't push out. Sometimes I can pull them about halfway down and pull them up the rest of the way and they'll come. Sometimes they don't. I'll probably have to pull them or break them out on one side and then try to pull them out the other side. But that's going to be quite a bit of work pulling them out. I did end up breaking a couple strands here. Now I have successfully soldered these wires back together. The problem is you have to be really careful. You can't solder the wires where there's it's going to touch any metal, and you pretty much have to seal the wire so that it doesn't touch it later, so, or so that the so that the electricity doesn't arc over to the metal. But it can be done, and I have done it. All right, time to get to work. Some of these come out quite easy. If you take and pull them out and pull them up, see it comes out. Some of them do not come out too easy. You see down in there, a few of them broke. I'm broken here. And next to the side are also broken. And right there, this doesn't want to come out. Try those again from the other side. After I get done, this side. See, there's one down in here is broken. 
I just noticed this uh, was broken right here. Let's see down in there. And I believe that was done by my magnets. When I stuck my magnets in there and, and spun them to see if it was going to work. Then I took them back out and filed them. I think that actually got busted by the magnets. The coil would still be good. Problem is, I'm going to have a hard time getting the coil out without actually either cutting them or trying to fix that back. Luckily, I have another motor. Unfortunately, I do not know where it is. <laughs> I'm going to have to find my other motor. Or I'm going to try to fix this one first, though. Looks like I found the other motor. It is the same size and type motor. Same housing. Everything should be the same. It was off of a fan also. They're both off of fans. It's a 1075 RPM, or was, 230, 480 volt, 1.3 amp. So if I can't get that one fixed, I'll just switch it over to this one and go from there. Hope you have a great day.